Good afternoon, traders. Steve Ribble with Trader Tax Coach here. With the recent bankruptcy of PFG Best, we're starting at a lot of questions about the tax consequences from missing client funds. We thought we'd put together this quick video to explain the correct way to report the loss of the missing funds on your taxes. So today we're going to look at missing brokerage money and your taxes. This is the second case. Everybody remembers MF Global. We had uh, approximately $1.2 billion in client funds missing, and PFG uh, comes in at a right around $200 million in missing client money. And I know a lot of people out there are wondering, how do we account for this loss on our taxes? Here's what the IRS says. They issued a letter in March 29th of 2012 to the Commodity Customer Coalition, which sheds a little light on how clients can account for the loss. In the letter, a couple points to make. The taxpayer can claim a loss when and to the extent that no reasonable prospect of recovery exists as of the end of the tax year. They also said in the event of a reasonable prospect of recovery, the loss is suspended until the amount of the loss becomes reasonably certain. And this all comes from Internal Revenue Code 165. So when can you take the loss? Tax law for tax law for deposit impairment, casualty or theft loss or capital loss, all require a realization event of that loss. It's important to remember if the money is being recovered or the possibility still exists that it can be recovered, no loss can be taken on your taxes. When the possibility of recovery ceases to exist, that's when you can take the loss. So let's look at how the loss is taken. We're going to look at business traders and we're going to look at investors. Business traders have a distinct advantage. If you qualify for trader status, the loss is classified as a business bad debt. This means that it's treated as an ordinary loss and you can take 100% of that loss against any other income source on your taxes. This can lead to a net operating loss carry back and or carry forward uh, that you're able to utilize. Investors, it's a little bit different. Investors actually have two ways that they're able to account for this loss. The first way is classify it as a personal or investment bad debt. This is going to classify the loss as a capital loss and gets deducted on a Schedule D. It counts against capital gains only. And then you can take up to an additional $3,000 off of your taxes. If there's any excess, it gets carried forward and again counts against capital gains only. The second way an investor is able to account for the loss is to classify it as a casualty or theft loss. This makes it an itemized deduction on Schedule A, and it's going to be subject to a $100 floor and less 10% of your adjusted gross income. Looking at a quick example, if you had an adjusted gross income of $100,000 and a loss of $50,000, you're able to take, uh, if you look at the $50,000 loss, you take away the $100 minimum floor. It uh, leaves you with $49,900 minus 10% of AGI, which 10% of $100,000 is $10,000. That leaves you with an itemized deduction of $39,900. So the key takeaway points, remember a loss can be taken only when there is no prospect of recovery. If they're still recovering the money or the possibility exists that they're still going to recover some money, you're not able to take the loss off of your taxes. Traders and securities can take 100% of the loss as a business bad debt, and investors have two ways to take the loss. A capital loss or a casualty or theft loss um, are the two ways that they can take it. You may be wondering, are you a trader in securities? Well, we offer a free trader evaluation. You can go to our website at tradertaxcoach.net uh, forward slash traders underscore status. And I think this will take you to the page. So you can go here. Um, you're looking at the trader status valuation. Input this information here and submit it, and we'll get back with you with uh, our, uh, uh, our ruling on whether you, you should qualify for trader status or not. So how can we help you? Uh, I offer the free trader evaluation. We also review the three previous years of tax returns for free. Uh, we help with mark-to-market -mark election filing, entity consultation formation, payroll services, tax preparation, and tax planning and consultation. If you've got any tax questions on this or any other matter, you can reach us at info at tradertaxcoach.net. We appreciate your time today. My contact information is there, and you can also follow us on Twitter at Trader Tax Coach. Thank you.